I crafted a custom AI prompt that makes Google SEO so easy it's stupid. In fact, I can't believe I ever did SEO without it. Just look at this hockey stick traffic growth. And in this video, I'm gonna share it with you. You'll learn my custom GPT prompt that can turn an SEO newbie into an SEO giga chat overnight, how to use the output of this prompt to give the Google algorithm exactly what it's thirsty for, and as a bonus, a crash course on prompt engineering so you can learn how I made this agent so ultimately you can make your own for whatever you want. My name is Matt Diggity and I'm the director at the Search Initiative an international SEO agency managing some of the biggest brands on the internet. And today I'm gonna to be giving out some of our best SEO strategies. Now before we get started, a little backstory. In June of last year, we onboarded an SEO client that had an SEO issue that I guarantee you faced before or are facing right now. They had a large website with a bajillion pages of content. Some of them were created with zero SEO standards in mind and were causing Google to basically hate the website. In every single Google update, they were getting their asses handed to them. Now, in Google's helpful content document, they say that if you have unhelpful content on your website, your other content, even if it's awesome, is less likely to perform well. It's like showing up to a party in high school and because you had one McLovin in your crew, your entire posse got told to piss off. They say that the way to dig yourself out of this abyss of Google hate is to either remove that content or improve it. The problem is when you have a website with hundreds or even thousands of pages, it becomes impossible to audit them one by one. It also takes a quantum computer to interpret what are the actionable recommendations that Google's helpful content and EEAT documentation guidelines may be providing. That's where AI comes into play and says, hold my beer, I got you, we're getting into this party and everyone's getting late. And you know what? It works. We use this prompt to grow our clients traffic by 86%, made them a ton of money, and I'm pretty sure at least one person got laid. But real quick before I get started, I wanted to let you know that my agency, The Search Initiative, is taking on a handful of clients right now for $1,000 off for the first month, in exchange for a testimonial down the road. Just head on over to thesearchinitiative.com, put your deets into the form, and we'll get right back to you. All right, question for you. Do you have ChatGPT Premium? If not, no worries. I left a link to my custom GPT in the description that allows you to use a general version of it for free. If you do have ChatGPT Premium, I'm gonna show you some freaking magic. Click on Explore GPTs, then click on My GPTs at the top. Now click on Create a GPT, then switch to Configure Mode. This is where you select the actions that you want the agent to take. Give your GPT a name like Helpful Content Audit Checker for blog posts. Description is optional. Now in this instruction section, here's where you're gonna paste in how you want the GPT to audit blog posts in particular. Later we'll do the same for home pages, product pages, and service pages. Here's your prompt instructions. First, we'll give it a situation overview. Blog posts are a critical tool for building authority, engaging readers, and driving traffic. And then a goal. Enhance blog posts, rank well, retain reader interest, and align with Google's helpful content guidelines. Sorry, I don't know why I'm using that voice. In the analysis section, we break it down into steps. Step one, we paste in the blog post or provide a URL. Step two, we score the blog post on the following criteria. First, relevance. Does the post meet user intent for its target keywords? Two, content quality. Is it detailed, well-structured, and free of fluff? Three, engagement. Does it use engaging language, headings, and multimedia? Four, SEO. Are headings, internal links, and keywords optimized? And five, call to action. Is there a clear next step for the readers? Lastly, step three, improvement suggestions, where we ask the GPT to give us improvements to structure or flow, adding more depth or examples, optimizing for target keywords, and adding multimedia or visual elements. By the way, if you want a PDF copy of these instructions and the ones coming soon, download it at diggitymarketing.com forward slash SEO dash audit dash prompts. For the conversation starter, you can input, please input the text or URL that you would like me to analyze. And for the knowledge, you're gonna upload the files for both the Google Helpful Content Guidelines as well as the Search Quality Evaluator Guidelines. The agent is gonna use these files as a reference for all its recommendations. So gangsta. But if you think this is good, wait till you see when I prompt engineer it later. Now click create and you're ready to rock. By the way, here's a quick word from the sponsor of this video, Search Intelligence. This campaign got us big links in websites such as Lifehacker, Wells Online, Daily Record, and about 20 other news websites. Let me show you how we've done it. We knew that people will be flying a lot this summer, and we knew that journalists will be writing about this topic a lot. So on behalf of our client, we put together a nice guide about how to fall asleep on the plane. Then we use Muckrack to find journalists who write about travel. Then we put our advice in a nice email and send the tips to the journalists. Within just a few days, the links started landing, securing our client natural placements in really big websites, just like this, this and this. 
This is a great example about how you can leverage seasonal trends to earn links to a website, anticipate what journalists want to write about at all times and give them the stories that they need. They will reward you with some great juicy links. I hope this is helpful. Now back to the video. As mentioned before, you also want to create custom GPTs for home pages, service pages, and product pages. Now feel free to stop and screenshot each of these. Here's the instruction text for home pages. Here it is for service pages and likewise for product pages. Otherwise, download that PDF at the URL you see right here. All right, we'll get to the output of these bad boys soon, plus how to interpret the suggestions. But I wanna show you how to power up these GPTs to insanity level with a crash course on prompt engineering. The best way to create a custom GigaChat agent is to get ChatGPT itself to help you write it. Here's your initial prompt. I'm creating an agent that will be responsible for checking the content on my web pages based on Google's helpful content guidelines and Google's EE EAT guidelines from a knowledge base. I want to input URLs and the agent should analyze key elements of the content on the pages with a score out of 10 and in the end give me recommendations on fixing critical issues based on the analysis with examples where appropriate. Prepare a prompt that I can use to instruct this agent. And here's a pretty damn good start. This prompt generated by ChatGPT itself knows to look at things like content quality, credibility, and authority, and all the other good stuff that goes into creating 2025 level content. But if there's one thing I've learned about prompt engineering, just like Tinder, you never accept the first option. So let's tweak things. Again, working with ChatGPT to make the output as helpful as possible. First, I'm gonna ask it to adjust the output format so that it highlights exactly what's wrong with the content, actionable recommendations, and examples for each of the following categories. Content quality, credibility, audience engagement, originality, structure, trust, and metadata optimization. And because I'm spoiled that everything should go my way, I want the output to be a downloadable spreadsheet with tabs for each analyzed URL and scores for each category. And hot damn, this is a custom agent if I've ever seen one. When you actually run this audit bot, transformer reference, thank you, sure enough you get a downloadable sheet and here's what it looks like. Uh, very nice. Now here's where the magic lies, when it's time to take the actionable recommendations and get to work. These are some examples of what it would tell you to do. In terms of content quality, it might ask you to go more in depth, as it did with this article about neroli oil, specifically telling me to reference studies when comparing it to similar products. It may also ask you to add detailed explanations. I saw it audit an article about time management, which recommended prioritization, but we never discussed how to implement prioritization, such as using tools like time blocking. Also, first-hand experience. An article for one of our personal trainer clients was actually devoid of any of their vast experience getting people ripped. And related questions, like an FAQ, similar to what you see in Google's People Also Ask section. In terms of credibility and authority, it acknowledged that our article referenced facts, but it didn't actually link to any credible papers or journals as to where it got them from. It also also told us to add expert quotes and it'll make sure you're always adding author credentials. In terms of audience engagement, here's where it gave us a 6 out of 10 score because of a lack of interactive elements like a quiz, which we then use surprise surprise chat GPT to generate. There's way more that this does, but you get the point. This shit works. Since the start of the campaign, the organic traffic increased from 70% from 66,000 to 113,000 sessions per month. The number of keywords at the top of Google also hockey stick to 8,000. If you'd like us to take a look at your SEO, head on over to thesearchinitiative.com and use the form at the bottom to reach out. That's it. We'd be happy to take a look at your site and let you know what we can do for you. $1,000 off your first month until the end of the month.